Hello there, and welcome back to Let's Play Mountain Blade Warband. I'm afraid we have to start this episode on some very sad news. As you can see, I have one person in my party, and that is me. Therefore, we have to assume Jeremus is dead, which makes me extremely upset. So, in honour of Jeremus's memory, I have put together a little tribute for him. I hope you will join me in remembering Jeremus. absolutely touching. Okay, now that we have the doom and gloom out of our way, it's time to continue what we were doing. I am pretty much no longer welcome in the lands of a Sultanate Saranid due to, well, some slave taking, but I am a bit down on my luck right now since there's only me, and I'm not going to go to the Nord lands yet to establish my empire. I'm actually going to See if there's a bit of mercenary work going down in maybe the Rodox land. I'm going to pay a visit to the training field. But first, I am going to Shariz. Because um, if, a, if a merchant is there, I may be able to claim money off him because he owes me. So we're just going. Oh, ah, he not. Oh, he isn't going. No, he's. Oh, God, is he? No, he's, he's leaving me. Right. Um. Wait, this place is held by. Ho oh yeah, cause they don't like me. Um, see if I can sneak in. Aha! Right, we're in. Right. I'll have to be very careful not to um, stir shit up here. See, I I'm a pez. That is a pretty sweet disguise, actually. Let's not take it off. Might. Since I don't have, since I'm not doing the cow quest as well, I might see if I can buy some weapons. So, um, firstly, let's just go to the tavern and see what's going on. I'm not doing any work here, but just see if I can find a merchant. Hello, tavern keeper. Um, have you seen a merchant here? Let's see. Merchant with crossbowmen, bork, botcher, the ransom broker, and a traveller. Oh, he's here. Merchant dude, remember me? Ah, Squawker. Things didn't go so well as I had hoped. Sultan Hakim couldn't quite find it in him to overlook my little breach of a peace. Oh, he's grateful enough that I got rid of his crooked captain. A guard who will let in bandits and will let in an enemy army. The price is right. But he can't exactly have me running around here as a lasting reminder of his failure to take care of things for himself. That hardly seems fair. Fair? This is Galadriel, my boy. Kings do what they will, and the rest of us must do as they must. He didn't string me up and intended, instead gave me time to sell my properties. He even put in a word with other merchants, that they were best pay me a fair price too. That's gracious enough as kings go. But he's a weak king, as they all are here, and weak kings must always look to their authority first, and justice second. I suppose I'd do the same in his shoes. Anyway, I wouldn't go rubbing your part in this affair in Sulkim Hakim's face, but he's taken note of you, and decided you are not worth hanging, and that's something to which I'll raise a glass at any day of the week. He might even wor have work for you further down the road. Or you can sell your sword to one of his competitors. Anyway, I hope you've learnt a bit about what it'll take to stay alive in this troubled land, and I suspect that the money you've earned won't go to waste. Good luck. So no money? Oh well, screw you, I never liked you. Um, I'm not interested in the bad. I want... What are you up to, Traveller? Greetings, friend. You look like the kind of man who do well to know me. I travel a lot across Galadria and I keep an open ear. I might provide you information that you might find useful. 
for Amiga Christ, of course. Jamus is alive. <gasps> yes. Where is Jamus? I hope he's not dead. Thirty dinars. Yes. He's at Dirim. Right. Okay. Ignore the tribute I made to Jamus because Jamus is alive, and we are going to rescue him. Goodbye, tavern woman. Right. This could be a high stakes operation, so what I'm going to do is. Um, I'm not even timing this episode, actually, I forgot to do about it. whatever. I'll, I'll, I'll assume I'm five minutes in. And there. I started my timer. Right. Arms merchant. Hello, I would like weapons. Right, I, I have a thousand dinars. Right, so let, let, let's just do a little stock check here. Right, I've got 29 crossbow bolts. Good crossbow. Maybe we'll actually have to go to the armorist, but can't. a shield doesn't work with a two handed knife, but. Um, I did want a pole arm. Um, like. Ooh, hang on. Damage 44. This light crossbow is actually better for my hunting crossbow, so we'll, we'll do a little trade. Um. Let's see. I'm good for bolts. Um, I think this is a a two-handed weapon. Or it might be a pole arm. I don't. I'll leave. That's a but pole arm. Yeah, yeah, pearl arm. Right. It's very expensive, but I want it. There we go. I'm I'm reconsidering buying a hot actually. For, f for four more dinars, I can get a nicer one, right? That's six hundred dinars, well spent in my opinion. Um, right now, I have my wooden staff, but that doesn't matter. And there's a townsman who looks just like the merchant, but whatever. Um, let's just quickly go to tab, go to the marketplace, go to the island merchant. Is there any? Let's see if there's just a little bit of better armor I could have. Um, this battered light leather. Well, it, I'd buy it on the. It's heavier, but I'd buy it on the grounds it looks better because, well, I'm a, I'm a bit of a fashion fashion Easter. Um, but I don't think. No, I only have 300 in there, so. Yeah, I can't afford the fancy leather armor unless. Uh, these won't sell for much, but I'll sell these anyway. May as well make six nerves. The Nomad Cat. Ooh. I don't like the Nomad Cat very much, actually. Could buy a little hood. That doesn't work. Would you like a straw hat? No. Nah. Mm. Actually, I can, I can buy pet. Yeah. I've got better boots. Oh, hang on. Nah, blue does not work. Right, that's enough being a fashion Easter. Okie dokie. Um, just quickly go to a goods merchant because I've noticed I don't have a great amount of bread, so let's buy some pork. Right. So, Jeremus is in Dirim, hopefully, so I'm not. If I have to rescue him or something, I'm not going to do it without an army. And I need an army anyway, because since I'm on my own. So, I guess the best thing to do would be to go to Jamish. Hopefully I won't be spotted by... Ooh. Alright. He's ignoring me. Right. Just walk around. Just walk around. We're having a nice walk by the beach. Nothing wrong with that. Dun 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 dun. There's a lot of tracks here, actually. Come on. I can walk myself to death because apparently Squawk has unlimited fatigue. Here we are. Jimish. Can I recruit some villagers? Yay! Right, we've got five people in my army. I'm going to go to a village centre actually because... Just see if there's a job to do just to carry on earning money and more importantly start getting a bit more XP. It's a very nice city at night this. I like it. Right, the 
I think I've been to Jamish before, and that should be the village elder just ahead of me, so let's just make our way there and see if he has a task for me, provided it is not herding cows, because I'm not doing that. Right. Dun 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 dun. Hello, village elder. Good day, sir. Would you have any tasks I can do for you? Um, we cannot find some grades. So if I bring grain to this village elder, that'd be good. So how much grain do you need? I think six packs of grain will get us going. Yeah, all right. Right, let's just see, do I have a time limit on this quest? I have 30 days, right, that is done and done. Um, actually, while I'm here, let's look at factions. Sultanate, Saranid. Um, dun, didn't say anything about how much it likes me, so that was useless. Well, actually, um, let's just go to characters. Let's see if I can find... Uh, I have no renown and no controversy about it, despite taking slaves. Let's just see if I can find Jeremus. Whereabouts unknown. Hopefully not dead. Okay. I'm a coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you. Now I've got six more tribesmen. That's enough for me, I think. Right. We go to Dirim via the training field. Off we go. For long walk. We're not camping because, well, these guys have just set off. I've just literally forced them out of their beds and just told them they are coming with me. Whether they like it or not. Mm -hmm. There we go. It's a lovely in day again. And there's Weyach Castle. I'll be back for the Sirenids one day to murder them. Oh, look. Aina Suddy's on fire. Wee -hee -hee. That's what you get for hating me. What can I do? Let us speak with the trainer. Hello, trainer. Good day to you, lad. You look like another adventurer who has come to try his chance in these lands. Well, trust my word, you won't be able to survive long here unless you learn to fight yourself out of a tight spot. Good. Thank you for your advice. This place looks like a training field. Maybe I can learn about fighting here. Indeed you can. I am a veteran soldier, fought a good deal of wars in my time. But these days I train young novices in this area. I can find you some opponents to practice with if you like, or if you have any questions about the theory of combat, feel free to ask. Let's practice. Okay. I train novices in four stages, each tougher than one before. To finish a stage in advance, you need to advance to the next one. You have to win three fights in a row. Okay, let's fight. Ow, I'm losing. This is bullshit. Bullshit. Right, I'm gonna try that one more time. That was bullshit. Come on. Ah, come on, this guy doesn't give me any chances. Ah, this is bullshit. Right, one more try. This is getting really annoying now. Right. Come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you didn't let me execute him. Right, that's one down. Let's see if I can... Let's see if I can move up to the next stage. Feeling... Ooh. Ow. What? Ah, you camping motherfucker. I got killed by a camper. Right, screw this shit. Screw this. I don't need your training. I can I can hold my own. Right. Off to do him. How much money do I have, actually? 121. Getting, getting low on money. But... I might... might Oh wait, La Yaliba's looted. I was going to stop by there for money. Well, not money, for peasants, but oh well. I'm off to do him. Oh, here are enough forest bandits, because considering my new track record in fighting, I am not in the mood. 
I think I might just be better off being a ranged fighter. It seems to be what I'm good at. But I'll keep a heavy weapon handy should I ever need it. Look at Yaliba burning to the ground. Oh. Oh. That was a very cheap wage for my men. These guys really probably aren't used to very good stuff. Um, I think we'll stay the night in Dirim just to keep morale up in the party. What is morale like? Mm, don't say. Oh, it's very high. Okay. Let's carry on then. Sound of Dirim is nice, right? You can have one night in Dirim for four dinars. Right, let's go to the tavern. I'm coming, Jeremus. There you are! <gasps> I missed you, buddy! Hey, I missed you. It's good to see you alive, Captain! <laughs> I was taken in hell for ransom, but I do not know where you had been captured, slain, or got away. <laughs> I've been roaming around since then, looking for you. Shall I get my gear together and rejoin your company? <laughs> oh, well, no hard feelings. Yeah, sure. Right, Jeremus is back. You're back, buddy. That was like little bro fist. Little bro fists for all. Okay. Oh, and the bro kick. The bro kick to the testicles. Right. Hello, wandering Traubador. You're just that guy who tries to teach me poems, aren't you? Can you teach me a poem? I can teach you the poem The Stoning of a Castle of Love. It is a short enough to be easily learned. It is an allegoric poem, replete with symbols and metaphor. It describes how a brave but rough warrior wins the heart of his lady by learning the virtues of chivalry, becoming a true and noble knight. Its theme that the role of a woman is to inspire, but also civilize a man. It is appreciated by some noble ladies, but not all. What a freaking hipster. To teach you it, I will need some hours of your time and I've got a small fee for my services. About 300 dinars would suffice. Oh, well, fuck that. I'm not paying money just to learn a shitty poem. I've got better things to spend my money on, like alcohol and prostitutes. Who needs women when you have prostitutes? Right, where are we going? Hmm. <laughs> Seems to be no quests going on here. Maybe there's quests going on in the streets. Mm hmm. Well, this looks like a nice streety place. Hello. Dun, 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 dun. Who is this guy? He's the weaponsmith, right? Maybe I should wait till day, maybe. Yeah, but I, I've got to give these guys credit for their dedication, actually. I mean, he's running his shop at midnight when there's no one here. Alright, let's just wait till daytime. Right, there we go. Okay, let's just go to the streets. It should now be busy. Here we are. We're off. We're in Dirim. And one day I'm going to buy myself nicer armour. Let's see what's going on. Are there any quests going on? How about this nice person with a dress? Hello. Good day, sir. Hmm. What's the latest rumour? Nothing. Okay, you're useless. Um, hello, town. Oh, why does everyone here blank me? Oops. A lot of people blank me, right. Let's go. Um, where shall we go to be exact for? I guess we haven't been to the Vegas yet. Let's, let's go to M Meshin. Could be something fun going on there, or maybe some bandits to take on, and hopefully not be killed by. Actually, tracks, tracks, tracks. I hear fighting. Ah, uh, let's fight. Ooh! Save some villagers! Quickly! Save them! Save the villagers! Then take the villagers. Rush to the aid! Charge! We're back in the groove, Jeremus. We're back in the groove. Come on, my peasants. 
I'm glad. Oh, I've got women in the army as well. I like this where this is going. Mm hmm. Come, my sword sisters. We shall defeat the scum bandits. I've got my crossbow. I'm going in range this time. Tracking, tracking. Yes, got a shot. Improved my crossbow proficiency quite well, methinks. I think we've just won the battle as well. I think we just absolutely stormed them with my peasants. I'll just fire a shot. Ah, missed. Well done, my peasants. Well done. You all deserve booze. And you're all very happy. Yeah. Yeah. I just screenshotted that. I, li I liked that screenshot of my happy peasants. I'm going to put that on my Steam profile. Okay, we're done here. Lost two of my tribesmen. Oh, and an achievement. Good Samaritan. Thank you for your help, sir. It was fortunate to have you nearby. Ooh, ah. Uh, oh, they want much good loot. Um, nothing really I'm going to give Jeremus. But oh well. I feel happy to have saved the farmers and I'm not going to take them slaves because to be honest I'm getting out of the slave business because I'm not desperate for money. I'm sure there are more honest ways to earn money. I still think I should get a horse or just to improve my speed a bit. I don't know. Maybe next episode, or if I happen to have a little windfall of cash. I just don't like fighting on a horse. I don't horse, bro. I don't horse. Right, Mechin. Um, no, 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 I want to go to Mechin. Right, firstly, can I recruit people? I've got three recruits. Uh, let's go to the village. Uh, ooh, this is an interesting village. That's one huge roof. That is huge. Like this village has just been has crashed into a hill. In a nice way, of course. And I'm assuming this guy's the village elder, so hello there, village elder. Good day, sir. Welcome to Mechin. I'm the elder of this village. Um any tasks? No. Oh yeah, I've got to buy grain. Um do you have grain? Food and supplies? Uh no, you have you have cabbage. You have cabbage. Okay. Um, if I need grain, where is the nearest... We'll go to the nearest major city, which will be Sargoff. Yeah, let's go to Sargoff. Wait, are these guys... Wait. Oh, so the Vegas are grey. Ah, oh, so... Right. I had it mixed up, because I was thinking for this whole playthrough that the Vegas were blue. So these are the Nordlands, these are the guys I want to be friends with. I'm going to have to invade the Snowlands, because I think the Nords would prefer the snow more. Maybe we, maybe they were kicked out. Oh well. One day, my Nordic friends. And actually, I might go see who the Lord of Sargoth is, just to um, kiss him up. And we'll camp here for the night as well. May as well keep the morale up. Maybe if I'm supposed to, if I maybe if I'm eventually go to War of the Vegas as well, maybe I could pick on a few villagers there. But then again, I said I was getting out of a slave game. Mm. Don't want to attack Nordic villagers. Villagers, they are my brethren. Okay, it's an unremarkable city, but it's oh, this is King Ragnar. Oh, he's the guy I'm supposed to kill. I'm not going to kill him now because one. I'm going to get killed, and two, I can't be bothered. So, let's just quickly visit the tavern. Oh, it's an empty day. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Um, hello, tavern keeper. I would like to buy every man in here over I've got best wine, and by that I'd just be myself. Do you know anyone who has a job? King Ragnar searches for mercenaries. Jal Gundur might need help rescuing here. Ooh. Hmm. So, according to him, I could, I could become a mercenary. But this Jal Gunda, he sounds interesting. Let's just go to characters. Let's see, Jal 
Gunder. He's Lord of Jelbeggy Castle. He's 50. God, he's old. He has a big family as well, but right. Jelbeggy Castle. We'll have to go over at some point. This is a pretty nice village. It's like Skyrim. And I haven't even played Skyrim yet. Um, that's a guild. I'm not interested in doing a guild master's task. Let's just quickly. Um, how much would it be for six grains? Um, goods merchant. Do you have grain, my friend? Yes, you do. It's 35. Right. Right, we've got the grain. Um, but I'm not going back to the Vegas just. Or the Rodox just yet. Let's. Um, where was the castle I wanted to be? Um, ah, Jelbeggy, right. Let's head to Jelbeggy. Jelbeggy village first, see if there's anything going on there. Go across the huge bridge and just... Oh, there's a bridge now. It was, it was looking like there was no bridge and... Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Oh. Right. So, I've probably gone way over episode time, but... Let's just get to Jailbeggy Castle, and that's where we'll finish this episode. I'm so glad Jaramus is back. Um, any villagers? Six Nordic recruits. That's very good. Let's go to Jailbeggy. I've got 20 people in my party now. I feel happy about that. Jailbeggy. Um, hail the guard. Request. Request a meeting. I would like to meet Forget It. He's not in right now. Um, ooh, there's a Saranid caravan there. there are 25 people. 14. Mm, I don't think my peasant army's up to taking him on. No. Oh well, this is where I'll leave off anyway. So, next time on Let's Play Mount of Blade Warband, I have Jeremus back and. I'm probably just going to go all the way back to the Rodok clans to drop off that grain, and then, well, the adventure continues. Bye!